here it is, a $3 solution to the Tunematic bridge that requires no special tools and is totally reversible with no damage to the instrument. Pop off the stock bridge and remove the posts. You're left with threaded bottomless thimbles that go down into the body cavity. You just need a way to thread something down in there and make a makeshift version of the traditional Jazzmaster thimble so that the rocking bridge can drop into place while still getting set to the correct height. The stock thimble threads are M8, and what you need has a couple of different names. You'll ask for either a set screw or a grub screw. This is a headless screw that you can drill down into the thimble to whatever depth you need it to be. You need an Allen key inset head on the one side. Here's what they look like. I went with a 12 millimeter length, but after seeing how far down I had to drill in for my final setup, I would say an eight millimeter or a 10 millimeter length would also work fine. I have also heard other people use as long as 16, but I haven't tried that, so I can't speak to that. So take a screenshot of this and walk into any hardware store with a decent inventory. Shout out to Godwin Plumbing, who had me in and out with what I needed in less than five minutes. Uh, I paid, I think, 84 cents each for the set screws and then a buck for a spring. The spring is optional. It's a tip I found on like the fourth page of my Google search. There's no bottom to the threading on the thimble, and you want to make sure you don't go too far with a set screw and drop it down into the body, or you would need to remove the whole thimble to get it out. You also want to be sure that the set screw isn't loose and moving on you, or it could throw off your bridge height over time. Both of these problems can be addressed by dropping a spring down into the thimble before you put in the set screw. I bought the smallest spring I could find at the hardware store, clipped it in half so it would have one spring for each thimble. I also thought I would end up using some Loctite, but the upward pressure from the spring did hold the screw in place very tightly. I did not need any. So you'll drop the spring into the hole and wrench down the set screw on top of it, giving yourself about the right depth to match a traditional thimble. Rocking offset bridges have tiny screws that come out the bottom of the legs, which can be adjusted from the top with an Allen key to set the height. That screw will sit right down in the Allen head of the set screw, while still allowing the usual amount of rocking in the thimble for regular trim action. It's a good idea to check the depth to make sure both set screws are at the same spot, and then you can make any micro adjustments to bridge height as needed from the top with the bridge's adjustment screws. And that's it. The Mustang bridge drops right in place and functions as normal. If you ever need to reverse this, just back out the set screws, flip the guitar upside down, and the springs will fall out. You can then thread back in the adjustomatic posts.